So over the past week or so, my faction and I have been building a lot more defenses for our base. And well, with this, we've decided to put a lot more spawners, and it turns out we're already F top 1. Anyways, I'm sure other factions could take F top from us, but currently as it is right now, we are F top 1 by over 6 million coins in value. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be placing some more spawners and seeing just how far we can get on F top. With that said though, if you are not subscribed and you do want to subscribe, that would greatly help out the channel. Also, if you do enjoy the video at any point, please hit the like button. Anyways, with that said, let's begin the video. So yesterday, someone asked me to do best out of three UHC duels. And if I won, I would get a stack of spawners and a G set. So I figured this is a great way for us to get more F top value and I can also get another G set. Anyways, I'm going to roll the clips from that. So yeah, as, as you guys all know, I'm, I'm not really the best at PvP, so I kind of lost. He does have a YouTube channel, I'll link it in the description. Anyways, with that said, I think it's time we place some spawners. So I placed about 17 IG spawners, and then I also placed a whole bunch of Blaze and Zombie. And well, now if I do F top value, we are at 24 million, where the second faction only has 16 million. So, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, we're doing pretty well. Anyways, for those of you wondering how our spawner setup works, the mobs spawn in on this, and they just, they drop in, and we just slowly get the drops from here. And in my previous video, I made some more defenses for this top part, and well, my faction decided to make the outlines for even more walls, so I figured, let's fill them in. Okay, so I gotta sell a YouTube kit because I, uh, I might have ran out of money doing this base. You know, we're gonna make this unrateable. It's, it's gonna happen. It actually happened. We got five million. All right, so I finished placing all the obsidian walls now, so we've got quite a lot of defenses for this so far. All right, now I wanna put some more defenses to the base, but I'm gonna need to blow up some stuff. I really hope this doesn't blow up the obsidian because that would just be bad. And that pretty much did nothing. Um, What have they done to TNT on this server? So it took around an hour, but we cleared out a massive region around our base so that we can put a whole bunch more walls. Now the downside with this is it's gonna cost a whole bunch of money and I literally have like 30k right now, so I'm gonna need to get back on the server, and I'm gonna need to do a lot of grinding for this money. So I was gonna try to show what we have at the base, but this guy decided to come and try to kill me, and now I'm probably gonna go kill him, so he is trying to glitch out, so if he does that, that's an easy ban. We've got him actually trapped in part of our base, and he's already lost his helmet. He's about to lose his boots anytime now, and then it's just gonna be all over for him. Bro, I hate PvP on the server. It's so, it's so pointless. I can be at this all day fighting this kid. Yeah, he lost his boots. This is all, it's all over for him now. Yeah, look at him. If he glitches through this, his easy ban on recording. Yeah, this is what happens. Oh yeah, yep, it's all over for him now. He just has his chest plate. And I, I still got over 150 hits on my lowest piece of armor. This kid is so dead. I, I kinda wanna mess with him now, like honestly. I've got him trapped here. There's nothing he can do. I've still got so much hit points. Yeah, he's got no armor. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. I've broken every piece of his armor. He's got nothing left and he's still trying to kill me. I can deal so much. I can kill him on gap. And goodbye. So this is what we've got for the base so far. I got all these walls placed and then I mined out an entire section here. And what we're going to try to do, I'm going to buy some wall gens and we are going to try to build a whole bunch more obby walls. 
I think I'm gonna go for like three that'll go right here right here and right here I think that's gonna be the plan. It's gonna cost a lot though So to build this wall i'm gonna need times 32 wall gens, which is much more expensive than the ones that are x16 So what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna buy times 16 ones and place two sets of them So let's start off with a stack here now I'm, just gonna start placing them along this wall and let's see where these get us to so these things will go all the way up to here So honestly, we could just try to build up the rest of this and I oh i'm dumb I just misplaced an entire wall Honestly, I think we're gonna go with obsidian for at least this layer So let's just see how much it's gonna cost to do an entire wall around this base So I am completely out of money now, and this is all I was able to get done. I finished a lot of the first 16 blocks, but I still have this entire area to get done. And then after that, I still gotta go up this entire layer here. So I'm gonna need some more coins. Now thankfully, I should be able to get like an easy 3 to 4 million by selling this Shion kit. So let's see what people offer. Alright, we're just gonna put on IH for 3 million. Hopefully someone will buy it. And there we go, someone bought it, let's go. Now I am gonna buy a whole bunch more enchant tables because we need to finish up the rest of the base for it. Now I'm just gonna finish up placing all of these enchant tables because we were missing a few. All right, I was able to get one more layer done. I think I'm just gonna leave this final outside layer. I'm just gonna call it good. Now I do have Xeon selling a whole bunch of my limited time rank kits, so hopefully we can get some more money from that. And we got another random in our base. Oh my, I, I, I really hope you're not trying to kill me. I just, I'm just trying to get this base done, okay? Don't mind me. This guy is literally creeper egging. He, he placed seven creeper eggs. There's no way. My guy did not just waste seven creeper eggs. Oh, this is toxic. Yeah, no, you, you've had it, buddy. I am done with you placing creeper eggs. This guy is... How many creeper eggs does he have? Yeah, nope. You, nope, I have had enough. Those are my creeper eggs. <gasps> he had 21 creeper eggs. No way. Well, I, I guess I'll keep these safe in case we have a raid, but I've got 21 sea eggs. That's OP. Yeah, I I'm honestly not sure who comes to my base with- They probably had like a stack of sea eggs. Who comes to my base just to place all those? Like, you're, you're not getting in. I don't know what the plan was there, buddy. Alright, well, I think it's time we start putting some water on the base, so I'm gonna first try to get an entire ocean up here, and then I'm gonna try to water all these walls. And there we go, we have completed the top layer, we just have to let this fill in now. For you guys not aware, you just place a layer of source water blocks along this side, and then along this side, and it'll completely fill in the entire area with an infinite water source. And well, here we go. This is what we've got so far. We still haven't finished up this obby wall, but I'm gonna get that done pretty soon. And then after that, the base is pretty close to complete. All right, so I don't have another 1.3 million coins, so I'm gonna buy another stack of obsidian wall gens, and let's bring this to the base. So there we go, I finally finished up all the outside obsidian walls, and now what I think I'm gonna be doing, rather than using obsidian for these final walls, cause I'm, I'm literally out of money, I'm gonna get a couple of coins, and then I'm gonna make some cobblestone walls on the outside. So there we go, I made the outlines for the final two walls that we're gonna put on, now I just need to get a whole bunch of these wall gens. Alright, so I got half of the first wall done, with almost two stacks, so I'm gonna need a lot more. 
Alright, so I got another stack of cobble wall gens, so uh, let's get these placed as well. Now, I should say one thing about these cobblestone wall gens, they're gonna be easy to blow up, so this part of the base may not be always intact, and to be honest, we're probably gonna end up patching it with obsidian to the point where the whole wall will eventually become obsidian, but for now, we're just getting something down for a wall, and I mean, it's better than nothing. So after about another hour of confiscating money from our faction members and going mining, I finally had enough to get all the walls complete, and well... It was quite the process. Alright, so this should be enough to finish it up. Otherwise, we're gonna be really close. We got enough money in the faction now. And we are 14 walls away. So I'm just gonna go to the shop. I'm gonna get the rest of what we need. And we can finally finish up the base. It has been so long. And this should be everything. Five left and five more slots. And there we go. The base is complete. This is it. We have done so much for the base already. This is crazy. So we have added one obsidian wall all the way around the outside. We added two cobblestone walls. We put water on all these walls. We added two more layers of obsidian to the top of this base. And we filled in all of these walls that used to be open. So we have done quite a lot. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video. I probably put like four hours into the space just in today alone and probably 15 million. I've probably spent over 50 million coins into this space. Please just hit the like button and thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.